Hi, my name's Jamie Goodwin, I'm 36 years old, and um, <clears throat> I've been replicating uh, Gerard Morin's uh, generator. And I just wanted to show you my setup, and I wanted to offer it up for discussion, for suggestions, because I'm a little bit out of my league, um, because I've I've come up with a new version of it and it's using a, a neodymium magnet so let me just turn the camera around and I'll show you my setup okay here we go so I've got a, a 39 volt power supply which is currently mains powered I've got these opened up so I can uh, find out the amount of power that this setup's using, a drawing from the from the mains. So we come out of the power supply and into a slightly complicated setup. I started using out uh, started out using um, <clears throat> one of these airplane motors. It's it's quite a, a big chunky powerful motor and it's obviously a, it's a bit complicated because the speed control that I um, bought doesn't have the necessary equipment to to use one of these a little servo control motor so I've got that coming out of the power supply the the speed control that's running the motor and <clears throat> I'm having to use a power supply for this speed control uh, and I'm using a, a, a standard battery pack to, to power this so it's, it's kind of unnecessarily complicated and of course Gerard Morin has said that um, these motors and these setups are affected by the radio waves and the energy that's being produced by these particular motors um, <clears throat> and generators, sorry. Um, now, so to go through the setup, so I've just got a little, um, I think it's just a little servo motor coupling to mount the motor onto the generator side. Now, as you can see, it's a copper shaft. It's only it's what I had available. Um, it's the only thing I had available that was the right size to fit this um, this neodymium magnet, and I'm using it with the the core from the from a standard washing machine motor pump. Um, everything else is the same. I haven't changed the wiring. The wiring's the same. Um, I've just set it up with a, a more powerful magnet and my goodness it makes a difference so I'm going to start it running and I well hopefully I, I would like some suggestions on either what's going on or what I can try to um, maybe change to, to make it run better more efficiently and so we shall see